Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you an amazing chess puzzle, one that has a very aesthetic ending. It has kind of that artistic look at the end. You can tell me what you think, but I think this is like chess art. So it's white to move in this position and win. So the pawns are going up the board. That's why I have some arrows here just to kind of give a marker. And of course, that means that black's pawns are going down the board. So take a second and see if you can find the solution to this puzzle. It is insane. While you're thinking about this, trying to find the ideas, let me quickly encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Half of the income that I earn in this channel goes directly to charity. So if you like and subscribe, that stuff helps so much. Okay, let's get to it. So one thing that I think you should note immediately is like slow moves don't really work. Right, if I make a move like, hey, let's bring the king in because I want to maybe maneuver my bishop in one day. No, that's not going to work. Right? They have two rooks. You have two pieces. You're down essentially two exchanges, right? So you're down four points of material. So if you're like me, I don't know, this is a crazy thought. The first thing I thought, and I immediately ruled it out, but the first thing I thought was bishop to g4 because I was like, hey, if they don't take me, I have a pretty cool mate, which is this. That's kind of nice. I don't know if you saw that. It's nice. But unfortunately, they just take it, and there's no way I'm going to do anything here because too many out squares plus this square is hanging. So no cool moves there. I like the idea. Didn't quite work. But of course, it's a puzzle. You look for forcing moves. Then the next thing that came to mind was what about g4 directly? g4. And then... The king takes. Maybe I have a check. This is kind of the next thing I thought. Still doesn't really work out. Even if they do this, this is, well, we just take this. It still doesn't matter, right? This is not enough because this knight is pretty much trapped. You can play this, and the only way to hold on to it is to hold this piece. But yeah, then you have two pieces tied down. You push this pawn, and you're going to win. Okay, so those are the rough ideas. And then I kind of just, I don't know. I was looking for like weird pawn moves and weird captures. And the move that is the answer was an insane first move to me. It just did not cross my mind at all. Maybe it crossed yours. The move, the first move, is knight to e8. What? Going backwards. Does that look like a normal move to you? So what is the threat here? That's the first thing we should talk about. So let's just pretend there's a nothing move, just to make a nothing move. It's a good thing to do when you're calculating. What am I threatening? If they did nothing, what am I threatening? Well, the threat here is knight g7 check, the king being cut off by this bishop. Look at that diagonal. Being cut off by this bishop has to go to g6, and then you have a very nice mate with the bishop. This is already pretty cool. But, of course, they're not going to do nothing with their move. So, as white, you have to calculate what is their best defense. Well, they could run up to go to g6 immediately. They could take some stuff. That would maybe free them up. Oops. All these ideas you have to think about. So let's just start with one of them. What's the best resistance? The best resistance is king g6. Okay. Now, why is that the best resistance? Let's talk about this. So in this position, there's such a cool checkmate. It's ridiculous. It's a mate in six. So you can push this pawn or push this pawn. One of them leads to checkmate. One of them leads to a draw. Maybe that's a second puzzle for you. Figure out which one is which. If you want to pause now, that's a good time to do it because I'm going to tell you. Okay, h5 leads to a win and f5 leads to a draw. Okay, why is that? So if I play h5, rook takes. Okay, you can take with the king. Let's, let's talk about that for a second. You take with the king, it's going to be pretty much like it is before. Same thing. But if you take with the rook, what is this going to lead to? Then you can play f5. Then the rook takes, and look at this move. g4. Come on, man. Look at this. It's a double attack. The king is completely boxed in. And no matter what happens next, let's just say, I don't know, rook f4 is the best move for the computer. Bishop f5, check. This is ridiculous. And then you do this. And what's the next move? You see the mate in two here? Knight g7. 
threatening mate, and you're going to mate no matter what happens. You're taking a pawn. This pawn is taking something. You move here, the pawn takes that way. You move here, pawn takes that way. It's amazing. Look at the checkmate. Look at the aesthetics of this puzzle. That's the best resistance, by the way. The best resistance is they go right to g6, and then you mate them with h5. What was the difference? If you played f5 first, now it can be captured straight away, and this h5 check, the king can take, and this will be a draw. Best play would be something like this. You're going to stalemate the king if you're not careful. It looks like that's mate, but it's not, right? So just an amazing, amazing puzzle. Okay, that's the best resistance, right? So you kind of want to see about the beauty and all these other variations. What if they just take this straight away with the rook or the pawn? Let's say they take with the pawn. What is happening here? Well, surprisingly, this is a terrible defense because now I still play knight g7, the king goes back up, and I play bishop f5 mate. Nothing wrong with that. So maybe the idea is to stop this square. So instead, take with the rook. Now I'm on this square. You can't do this same thing anymore because I'll just take it. And this is not a win. Well, it's not a win for white. It'll be a win for black. So maybe the trick is rook takes f4. What about that as a defense? This is still not a sufficient defense. The best move here is knight g7 check. After the king goes to g6, you play h5 check. And just like before, the king takes, and you play the killer, absolute killer move. Bishop f5 check. They take, and look at this. Look at the aesthetics of this. I don't know, it's Just maybe it's just me. I love the way this looks. Bang. They have to move out of the way. I don't know, pick your favorite square, and that's mate. So all these variations lead to this killer move, just g4, double attack, and you can't do anything about it. I love that. You can't move the king. You can't move the pawns. You have all of these legal moves. Look at that. All of these moves. And none of them stop the attack. Isn't that amazing? Okay, you're going to have to let me know what you think about it. But that's pretty much the puzzle. It's a really nice one going backwards on the first move. And then no matter what happens, it's going to be made. I want to maybe show one more variation. What about the H file? Same idea, right? Check, oops, check and mate. What about the H file with the pawn? Hey, look, it doesn't matter at all. There's actually another mate here, g4, king g6, and then bishop f5. So it's a lot of fun. Hopefully you got something out of this. It's really cool. And I think most of all, it is a pretty puzzle. So let's see if I can get that. There it is, that final position. There you go. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. All that stuff helps me out so much. But that is it for now. Thank you so much. Bye.